uh, what I will go ahead uh, and do is summarize what we have done so far uh, in the regression and interpolation uh, basically the module 5 of this particular course. This is the overall overview that we have covered uh, in the regression part. We first looked at the linear regression in one variable, then we looked at multi linear regression. Uh, we then uh, uh, talked about polynomial and functional regression. So, uh, that is just the same idea as multi linear regression, but where we have the same variable and different polynomial forms of the same variable. We analyzed the overall regression methods and we showed that. Uh, fitting a straight line x, x versus y is not the same as fitting the straight line y versus x and very briefly we covered nonlinear regression. We did not go into any of the details, but it just gave the idea behind nonlinear regression. Uh, after that we talked about uh, interpolation and inter interpolation we covered polynomial fitting uh, and uh, uh, saw some of its limitations uh, or rather I just stated those limitations rather than discussing them in, in any way. Uh, then we talked about uh, Lagrange interpolating polynomial, uh, we did Newton's forward difference and Newton's divided difference method. Now to summarize further the differences between regression and interpolation, regression is can be thought of as curve fitting we have or we decide a certain functional form of the equation and for the for that functional form we are going to fit a specific curve to the overall data. Uh, as against that interpolation is kind of joining the dots, you have some data points and we want to join those dots using a, a smooth, uh, smooth curve of some sort and that is what interpolation is, is going to do. The use of uh, regression or curve fitting is to fit a functional form to, to the data. That functional form can be useful somewhere else. For example, we have this uh, Arrhenius type of relation for rate of reaction. That is a functional form that we are fitting to the data. In case of interpolation, uh, we want to find out the value of the y, y is that independent variable at some intermediate data point. Let us say at this particular data point we want to find the value of y, we do not have the data at that particular value. So, we fit some kind of an interpolating polynomial to this data points and then just substitute x uh, value over here and what we get is going to be the value of uh, the dependent variable y for that point. So, that is uh, the difference between regression and interpolation. Then we saw multilinear regression, uh, this was the data that was uh, uh, that uh, is given to us. The model that we are going to fit is of this form, this particular model is linear in uh, the various parameters. The, this is the way we defined our errors and then we try to minimize some kind of a least squares criterion uh, which is minimization of sum of square of errors which can be solved. An alternative way of uh, doing that was to uh, write down in this particular form, this is again something we have, uh, we have seen before in a vectorial notations where the first column is 1s which correspond to the constant uh, term A0, the second column is x1, x2 up to xn which correspond to the term A1, uh, the third column is u's, fourth column is w's. Okay. So, we got this particular equation in the form x phi equal to y and the least squares solution for that is given in this particular form. Okay. So, this is what we have, we have seen in multilinear regression, then we looked at nonlinear regression, we very briefly covered nonlinear regression in, 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 a, uh, in about 5 minutes or so. Uh, then we saw polynomial uh, extension, extension of polynomial fitting for, uh, for, this, uh, for this data, then we talked about the linear uh, Lagrange interpolating for polynomials, implementing Lagrange interpolating polynomials is straightforward. Uh, finally, we talked about the Newton's method.